Good morning. Do you remember him? Well, memorize him well because that bad boy is about to get a hopefully successful glow up in that video. And if you remember him, then you know that I thrifted that kitchen towel holder last week while I was thrifting. And if you haven't watched that video, go and watch it after this one. And it was only one euro. So that is good because if I mess up that upcycling project, it is not too painful. But of course, we want to make him beautiful and witchy and magical. And we don't want to waste a good vintage kitchen, kitchen towel holder. Wow, that word is difficult. I thought... German is difficult, Küchenrollenhalter, but actually the German word is just as difficult. Kitchen towel holder, Küchenrollenhalter, kitchen towel holder. Okay, now we got it. So yeah, we will make an upcycling project with that little friend right here. And yeah, I just hope it turns out well because I want to look at it and feel magical and witchy and don't be frustrated. But yeah, that's the plan. You heard that right, we have a plan for this project. We even have a script that I wrote out and I did that recording five times already because I forgot the three sentences that I had to say in that intro. But that's the plan for that video. So let me just quickly check if I forgot anything and I don't have to record this right here again. So I'll be right back, give me a sec. We did it. I said everything I wrote down so that's pretty good but without further ado I would say let's get crafting and turn that bad boy into a magical witchy crystal collector's shelf so let's go and I said we have a plan and we had a plan so here you see me designing the shelf in procreate I'm not that good yet so you see me making mistakes here and there but it's a lot of fun and next I removed the blades that were stuck in these slits and they were really dangerous. I also don't recommend breaking them out like I did, but I'm happy that I could remove them without breaking the wood. So that was a pretty big success that day for me. But yeah, next I started grinding the wood and I did that for about 30 minutes because I knew there could be some wax and color stuck on the shelf so I did a pretty good job I thought grinding the wood and I used different papers in different strengths to really get rid of everything that was stuck on that vintage kitchen towel holder but as you can see it was not really removing everything so here I used a stronger paper the orange one to really get rid of anything but that didn't help either so you will see me being frustrated in a second because the color I bought for that shelf did not work and it was not really sticking on to the wood but yeah you will see that in a second while the shelf was drawing I decided to design the little moth friend in procreate as well to have a template for the molding step and that is what I'm doing right here that was so much fun and when I learned something out of that project then it is to really plan and think through the project that you want to do because that is basically the best preparation that you can do the skills will come like using the different tools and stuff but planning out what your design is what you want to do with a certain project is the most important thing i also learned that with like sewing and stuff so yeah that is my number one tip if you are like me and you are like really impatient please still take the time to plan the projects because 
it is so worth it and I think I would not have been that happy if I didn't plan the moth and the shelf beforehand. So yeah, now let's get back into molding the little moth friend into detail. But I later on decided that having it in 2D is not what I really wanted to do. This has been my first little insect that I did with clay so I did not really know what I'm doing. So later on I decided to put on the pieces like the wings and stuff in a second step. Next time I will probably just use a bigger piece of clay and mold the moth out of that piece to really give it a realistic look but yeah i have been learning in that project and here you can see me putting the pieces of the moth with pvc glue on the 2d template of the moth so yeah we are learning friends so that's what we are doing right here and we are having fun and that's all that matters right I think I'm the problem That I was way too sensitive React and way too much Until I realized we were different types Carrying a different triggers Scaring us to death Forget the world aside Just for a while Some way We will be fine Safe place Just you and I Always I will wait for us to collide I'll wait I'll Hi, do you remember him? Do you recognize him? I think he turned out so cute and whimsical and magical. I love the green color. It really reminds me of moss. And actually I did not really intend to color it because I wanted to keep the original brown color like the original vintage look. But every time I tried to paint over with some wood color, it would not last even after grinding and painting like four or five times it was not working so i thought okay i have some of that greenish chalk paint left let me see if that works and it worked so that is basically after four layers of chalk paint so it was really difficult to paint him but i feel like it was fate maybe it was his sign of showing me that he wants a new look he wants a new image and get rid of his old self so yeah that is what happened and we are going to spray on a moon face right here in a second as well so that will be fun because i think gold and that green looks really beautiful together so that is what is happening in a second and I also have another tool and with that magical tool we can turn our moth friend into a shiny and smooth moth friend. And I hope that will turn out well. Also the painting, I bought some color for that as well 
because actually that is the last try I have before I have to upload that video and I have been ill for the past few days maybe you can hear by my voice but it's not back 100% and I feel like it will be gone in a second basically but yeah I have been ill I only have been in bed reading and I will show right here what I have been reading which I can highly recommend if you enjoy vampire stories um, like dark romance stories so yeah that is the book that I have been reading for the past few days and I'm going to finish it soon but with that being said I feel like I am able to craft today again so let's meet up at my crafting desk and finish that beautiful project shall we I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to leave They settle down beneath my feet I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little while So be here as the night starts falling Let my fingers... So I wanted to use the tool to really smooth out the edges of the moth and yeah as you can see in a second it made a lot of dust and i didn't want my puppy to breathe that in so i will have to go somewhere else in the future because we love bella we want her to be healthy and happy and not endanger her so that's why we didn't use the tool but that's okay because look she's so happy and cute i love her <laughs> But later that evening I decided to paint the moth and I just let the colors speak through me. So I just did whatever came up and after some time I found a pretty cool technique to make the moth look more realistic and to give it more of that powdery kind of look. So yeah, that's what we were doing the whole evening. I had so much fun and you will see the not really 100% finished moth right here but after that all that was left was put the moth friend on our shelf and the yellow glory is won't you be Well, Seekers of Magic, how do you like the shelf? Do you think it turned out cute? Do you like the colors I used, the symbolism on top of it? Do you like the moth? I think the moth is like my favorite part of the shelf because it's just, I don't know, it turned out way cuter than I expected it to turn out. That was my first time molding something out of clay. So yeah, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty proud of myself. But yeah, I just love everything about it. And I think it just looks like it came out of the house of a witch 
and I also that morning sprayed a little bit more of the golden fairy dust on top of the shelf to give it more of that whimsical look so now I feel like it's perfect I cannot wait to hang it on the wall and for that I have to use some screws because I want to use it as a crystal shelf but I don't know if I will do that in that apartment or the apartment that I will move next which is not there yet but we will see because I don't want to break it and I just recently had an accident where something that I didn't properly pin on the wall fell down and we woke up in the middle of the night and thought someone broke into our home. So that is that, not going to make that mistake again but let me know in the comment section down below if you would have done anything different, if you like it and if you have any other ideas for upcoming projects or tell me about your projects because I'm also interested to know what you are crafting and upcycling and thrifting so definitely let me know in the comment section down below also if my voice sounds funny I'm still not properly recovered but we are getting there so yeah that's the funny voice for today but I hope you enjoyed the video I had so much fun and I love upcycling I have fallen in love with that kind of act and I'm definitely on the hunt of some new yeah, thrift store finds that I can turn into something whimsical and magical. And I think I will just turn it into the series called Turning Ugly Thrift Store Finds into Witchy Whimsical Things. Or I don't know, let me know. I posted something in my community section. So if you want to give a vote for the name of that series, then let me know there <laughs> and with that being said i hope you have a good start of the week or rest of the week whenever you see that video that was my arm that cracked <laughs> but i will see you guys in my next video which will be pretty exciting so i will see you then bye bye